do you want to rock? So today I'm going to inform you all about rock and roll. So rock and roll is one of the most popular genres of music in the world. It has a long and complex history with many different styles and subgenres evolving over time. Rock has a great influence on our lives today and even 20, 30 years ago. There's all different kinds of um, things that go into rock and roll, such as the money, the concerts, the ho how we listen to it, and again, the biggest part is how it, it evolved. Um, so, I'm going to first talk to you guys about the different genres and when rock and roll pretty much started. So in the beginning, the first rock and roll records, they were made in the early 1950s. These records were a blend of African American rhythm, blues, and white country music, just to give you an idea. And the most famous of these early um, recordings were uh, a song called Rocket 88 by Jackie Brunson. And there was another huge record um, that popularized rock and roll. I don't know if you guys have ever heard of him, but his name is Elvis. Elvis was a big influence on rock and roll. So the 1950s, um, rock and roll began to evolve into several different uh, genres of music. And we had doo-wop, which was very famous. Um, it was harmony singing and simple melodies put together. Uh, then we had the British Evasion in 1960. Another band you may have heard of was the Beatles and the Rolling Stones, still very popular to this day. And they came, like I said, from, um, from Britain, and you could hear their music all over the world. And then we would go into, um, still in the 60s, but we started getting into the psychedelic rock, Pink Floyd, Grateful Dead, Jimi Hendrix, all these um, types of music by them were, I guess you could say, experimental sounds. Um, they used distorted guitars. A lot of it was characterized as like drug induced. It was the 60s. And then you move into the 70s and you got your punk rock, which emerged. And um, punk rock was pretty much like Raw Energy, um, the Ramones, the Sex Pistols, the Clash, those are some of the most like influential um, punk rock music that there was. And then, keep going, because we're not done yet, we're only in the 70s, we move into the 80s, which is your hair metal band, my favorite, you got Guns N' Roses, Motley Crue, those are some of the most like successful acts of the 80s. Um, Def Leppard. These were very highly theatrical styles of music. Um, big hair, makeup, it didn't matter if you were a guy, a girl, whoever. It was big. Everything was big. And then um, you moved into the 90s. You had your grunge music, such as like Nirvana, Pearl Jam, Soundgarden. Um, this music was a little dark, grunge, sad type of rock music. Today, though, rock music, um, it's popular as ever now, even into the 2023 that we're in. Um, I'm going to show you this timeline. This timeline is actually um, all about the different rock genres um, and basically how you can listen to it. It might be backwards, so if it is, I'm so sorry. But I can read it to you and let you know what's on there. Um, so we can talk about how you can listen to the music, which is um, basically in the 50s you had uh, magnetic tapes, as that's what they called them. You had records um, in the 50s, 60s, 70s, you always had a record. 
Um, then you got into the 60s, 70s, which went into the 8-track tape. Um, almost like a cassette tape, but a little bigger. They did come in cars. Then as you kept going into the 70s and 80s, you um, actually could get cassette tapes, um, listen to it on the radio, FM radio, MTV, music television started, and they would show music videos all the time. And then you got the CD, if any of you guys remember those. Um, compact disc again you could play it on a studio on a radio um, boom box put it on a computer whatever um, next you had uh, like mini discs and you had um, mp3 players you had your iPods all kinds of stuff and then you could actually go online and get um, music downloaded so there was all different types of things that you could do. There was Napster, and which you had to eventually pay for, but people used to steal the music. And all that brings in a ton of money for rock and roll. And then, of course, you can go to concerts, which, again, brings in a lot of money for rock and roll. Um, so Wikipedia stated that rock and roll is a hundred billion dollar industry each year made off of just concerts alone and then also um, another source that I found was um, Rolling Stone which listed over 30 different genres of rock and roll and then um, so what I'm trying to inform you of is rock and roll has been around for decades. It's not going anywhere. The bands that started out in rock and roll, most of them are still around today if they're alive. And you know their songs. You can sit with anyone and listen to their music. Um, it is just an, it's an ever, never ending, evolving type of music. I and mean, we have pop now, country, rap, all of that. There's a piece of rock and roll in it. So I hope today with my speech that you all learned a little bit about rock and roll. Thank you.